Hello Brick Smarties, Brick Smarty here. So here's part 13 in my Lego Deep Sea Creatures series, Subnautica Below Zero. It features 8 new and unique MOC 2 to 1 alternates of the Lego 31088 Deep Sea Creatures set. This means they take two Lego 31088 sets to build each one. In addition, there is one special MOC 4 to 1 model, the Ice Worm. This takes four LEGO 31088 sets to build. These Subnautica Below Zero MOCs are some of my favourite creatures from the Underwater Alien Survival Game expansion, Subnautica Below Zero. Before I get any further into this, I would like to thank everyone who subscribed and for getting involved with all your comments and suggestions. Please keep them coming. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to BrickSmart Workshop so you don't miss any of my new LEGO MOCs. But what about Deep Sea Creatures Part 14? Do you want to see more Monsters of the Deep? More Hungry Sharks? More Prehistoric Creatures? Or some Open Ocean or Freshwater Sea Creatures? Let me know in the comments below or hit me up on Instagram and get sneak peeks of what I'm working on right now. Ok, let's get back to these Subnautica Below Zero creatures then. The 8 2 to 1 MOCs are The Penguins The Crash Fish the Squid Shark, the Brute Shark, the Sea Monkey, the Chelicerate, the Shadow Leviathan, and the Snow Stalker. The special 4 to 1 MOC is the Ice Worm. Coming up later in the video are two digital builds. I chose the Brute Shark and the Chelicerate to get you started, and if you'd like to see any of the other builds, just let me know. These MOCs are both 2 to 1 alternates of the LEGO 31088 Deep Sea Creatures sets. This means it takes two 31088 sets to build each of them. So if you have the sets, you can follow along with the video. Or if you prefer to work from PDF instructions that look like this, you can support me and buy them at rebrickable.com, just follow the link in the description below. So let's take a closer look at the Subnautica Below Zero MOCs. First up we have the Penguins. Adult penguins and juvenile penguins are penguin-like predatory animals from the underwater alien survival game Subnautica Below Zero. They spend half their time on the ice and half underwater. They eat small fish and do not attack players unless they attack or pick up penguins. They waddle about except when there is a snowstorm when they huddle together or when there is an electrical storm when they stay in the water. They have huge beaks that stick up vertically on top of their heads that open horizontally rather than vertically. They have two sets of eyes, but the second set that are forward facing are so tiny I decided not to try and include in MOCs of this scale. But I did manage to create both an adult penguin and a juvenile penguin in this build with the two LEGO 31088 Deep Sea Creatures sets. Then we have the Crash Fish. The Crash Fish is a small defensive oval round fish with a wide mouth and a single cyclops eye. The top of the body is red and scaly, and the underside is creamy white and smooth. It is covered in a large number of spikes that will trigger its characteristic explosive chemical reaction. It has a symbiotic relationship with the sulphur plant, hiding within it and surprising players. It makes a warning gurgle when players approach, but if they don't back off, it will charge towards them and explode, causing large amounts of damage. This was really a fun MOC to build using two 31088 Deep Sea Creatures sets. I wasn't sure if there'd be enough red and white parts at first, so I was really happy with how it turned out. Next up is the Squid Shark. The Squid Shark is a Leviathan class predator shark with squid like adaptations from Subnautica Below Zero. It's highly aggressive towards players and has inner jaws with long sharp teeth hidden beneath outer flaps that can protrude forward to capture prey and drag them back into its mouth. It has vents on either side of its body just behind the eye that are used to expel jets of seawater to provide steady propulsion or terrifying bursts of speed. I had a lot of fun creating an inner jaw that can slide forward and back, a bit like the Alien Queen from Aliens the movie. Scary. Then we have the Brute Shark. The Brute Shark is a medium sized aggressive predator shark with large wings like rays from the underwater alien survival game Subnautica Below Zero. It has heavy jaws filled with sharp teeth but otherwise has quite a slim and nimble build. It uses its wings to fly through the water. Although slow moving, it can put on fast bursts of speed when attacking prey, including players. 
For the most part, it is a top predator, although in the tree spire zone it has been seen being attacked by the chelicerate. This is one of my favourite shark builds with the cool wings and distinctive large lower jaw. And this will be the first build I feature today, coming up in just a couple of minutes. Next up is the sea monkey. The sea monkey has a large crest on its head that has four sections, two antennae under its chin, an upright posture, two arms with two fingered hands, and stripes that run the length of its body. The sea monkey is a medium sized, intelligent and largely passive creature. This creature starts off as one of the most annoying features of the early game as it can steal tools and resources from players, although these can usually be retrieved. Later in the game however, they become really helpful instead as they start to offer resources instead of stealing them. Then we have the Chelicerate. The Chelicerate is an aggressive Leviathan class creature from Subnautica Below Zero. Unusually the top side of the body is red and the underside is light beige. It has four dark coloured large curved toothed beaks that look like crab claws that conceal an additional smaller beak like mouth within. It has long pectoral fins and several long dorsal spines. Like many creatures in Subnautica it has two eyes on either side. It patrols the wide area in Sector Zero and can be seen attacking Cryptosuchuses and Brute Sharks. It opens its beaks and roars before charging. It will also attack players and can kill instantly if not on full health. I've used two LEGO 3108 Deep Sea Creatures set to create this MOC. It was very different using up all the red pieces to make the body as these are usually just filler pieces for this set. This will be the second build I feature today, coming up a bit later on. Next up we have the Shadow Leviathan. The Shadow Leviathan is one of the largest creatures in Subnautica Below Zero. It has a large shovel-like head, a multiple segmented arms and a bioluminescent digestive tract. It can be found in the crystal caves and fabricator caverns. It is highly aggressive to all fauna, attacking everything on sight including players. At over 60 meters long, this monster is not one to mess with. It is possible to kill with careful movement and use of the correct drill arm on the prawn suit but if you're not ready, just run and hide in a small fissure till it passes. Ok, so then we have the Snowstalker. The Snowstalker is a large maritime predator from Subnautica Below Zero. Snowstalker fur is a resource used by players in the game. It's related to the Aquatic Stalker in the earlier Subnautica game, but this one is a furry land animal with four legs. It still has a long toothy snout, though not as long. It still has the crest on the top of its head and spines that protrude along its back and it still has a pointy tail. It's aggressive to players, about the same size as a large polar bear, but can be scared away with a lit flare. And last but not least, the Ice Worm. The Ice Worm is a huge aggressive Leviathan class creature from Subnautica Below Zero. It's exclusively subterranean, tunnelling through ice but not swimming in the sea. It has a long plated segmented body with a large head that tapers into a single huge superheated horn that allows the Ice Worm to burrow through the ice with ease. It doesn't have eyes and is drawn towards vibration. Ice worms will eat nearby snowstalkers on the ice. They will attack players and will roar before doing so. Players cannot kill ice worms as there is no hitbox but can use thumpers to distract them. I've created this ice worm MOC using four LEGO 31088 Deep Sea Creatures sets. I've made a base so it can be posed bursting out of the ice with the end of its tail poking out behind. The long front end and the short tail can also be removed from the base and connected together to make a worm that can be posed flat. Well that's all the MOCs, let's make a start with the Brute Shark build now.
and that's the Brute Shark build. Okay, let's make a start with the Chelicera build. Thank you. 
And that's the Chelicerat build. Look out for more Subnautica Below Zero digital builds over the coming weeks. If you can't wait, or if you'd rather work from instructions that look like this, you can buy them at rebrickable.com, just follow the link in the description below. And don't forget to look me up on Instagram for more good stuff and behind the scenes photos. And use the hashtag BrickSmartWorkshop to tag your photos so I can see your creations. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video. You made it this far, so why not give us a like or make a comment below? Click here if you'd like to see some more of the LEGO Deep Sea Creature series, or here if you'd like to see some of my other LEGO Digital Creature builds. And don't forget to subscribe to BrickSmart Workshop so you don't miss any of my new MOCs.